An enterprise architect performs a very important function. Being a good storyteller, having that sense of curiosity, having to work with very complex landscapes. Connected dots between things that weren't connected before. It's people who are likely to help drive the clients of SAP and SAP into the future. SAP is undergoing a massive transformation where a lot of our customers are moving to the cloud. And for this to be successful, you need the best enterprise architects. There's never been a better time to be an enterprise architect. The role is in demand because of the complexity of people making transitions in their technology. An enterprise architect help the leaders of an organization understand what technology can help to propel that organization forward. For the last few years, we've been building a global enterprise architect SAP community, and the vision was creating an academy. So what we've done is curate a program of both technical skills and the human skills to accelerate architects in their knowledge as an enterprise architect. Most important thing I've learned is that companies don't transform, people do. So the only way for a company to transform is for a people to transform. Like never before, it's very important to grow and to learn. Having this growth mindset really is about upgrading your mental operating system. And this space encourages you to do it. Peeling back the covers in what these models can do hopefully gives you an idea of what they're actually good at, but more importantly, what they're not good at. The best AI is that which you don't even know it was there, or if it is there, you're surprised that it happened. We really wanted to provide an immersive experience and that includes the core SAP business knowledge, the technology of the future, and the human element. So you are going to spend more time talking with the business, understanding how you can bring value. How do you articulate that value? How do you build the business case for the future? How do you drive that change? How do you adopt that change? That's the role that we see you play. The best architects tell the best stories. If you're trying to sell a multi-year roadmap that's gonna cost millions of dollars and you genuinely think, for my company, I think this is the right thing to do, you gotta be able to sell it. The technology has now become table stakes. Now we are being asked to be storytellers, to be great listeners, to understand the business, the complexities. We need to be futurists to think about the long-term changes. So the skills that we require to have as an enterprise architect are evolving towards the soft skills, the psychology, the arts, and explaining our ideas. The ability to decide what is right or wrong is entirely yours. Our job is to provide you a wide palette of perspectives so you can think critically about what is right yourself. The most important skill is to be able to think independently. Well, the SAP Academy gives the participants a chance to interact with each other and to learn best practices from some of the top engineering talent in the world. It's been a great experience. From day one, I have learned a lot of new things and met very inspiring people. A lot of uh, knowledge exchange, a lot of uh, expertise. It's a great experience. It's an opportunity to hear from some great thought leaders, some amazing architects, and moreover, the conversations that you have over dinner are where the real value is at. I think when it comes to SAP Academy, there's nothing that beats coming together in person and thinking about things at all different levels. We're talking at a 50,000 foot level philosophically, and we're talking at the 1,000 foot level of the various innovations that are coming out, and even the 10 foot level of the data science behind these large language models. We're looking at having these conversations continue on through the other events that we have throughout the year, um, so that momentum continues to build in the enterprise architecture community.